Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. Today, we're at the Stoddard Hill Farm Railway, and we're going to take our Mosier, Mosier 2 Pro, and we're going to measure the railway from end to end. All right, the Mosier 2 Pro has walked on to our beginning point. That's that little thing at the bottom of this stick. And we're going to walk down the railroad track here and see how much distance we can get. Mosier 2 Pro is a measuring device that relies on internal motion sensors, so you don't need a cell signal or anything like that to make your measurements, unlike with using GPS. On top of that, it measures in three dimensions and plots it all at once while you're measuring. You can take a look at it in the app afterwards, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. If you look in here, there's this meter that goes from green to yellow to red. And that's kind of what I'm following, but it also changes the beeps when it, uh, when it changes zones. So uh, that's what I'm really paying attention to. Also, down on the, uh, the Mosier device itself, that LED will go from green to yellow to red. So that's depending on where it is on this bar graph, green, yellow, red. So it's all like three different ways of being able to tell where you're at in the measuring process. So it's kind of neat. But anyway, let's finish measuring this. The nice thing about the Mosier 2 Pro and, and all the Mosier products, they don't work on GPS, they work on uh, motion sensors. I'm not sure what kind of motion sensor, but some kind of internal motion sensor. And uh, so you don't have to have a cell signal for it to work. You don't be, have to be able to see the sky to get it to work. You can measure a tunnel if you want. It's kind of nice, actually, because uh, I do a lot of measuring in the trees. and. You don't always get a GPS signal in the trees, that's for sure, but always get a good measurement with the uh, Mosher 2 Pro as long as, uh, as long as I'm operating it properly. Now one of those things is you don't let it go all the way into the red too far or layer her out. So you, you've got about eight seconds um, to uh, go from one measurement point to the next one. Now when you're measuring with the Mosher, it's important to move briskly between points for the best accuracy. Also, try not to kick it against any rocks or, you know, with your foot or anything like that. That will definitely affect your accuracy in a bad way. All right, so into track, and now we're getting out into the bush. Yep. I'll try to stay on the center of the road, man. Yeah. We've got everything graded. It's just been a while since uh, I was out here to clean it up. The 
knife gets really sharp right here. You wouldn't believe it, but a year ago this was clear. So each stop is creating a data point. How far do you want me to go? Keep going. Yeah, so you just heard me say that the uh, roadbed was clear a year ago. Mm -hmm. This actually is roadbed, folks. I know I knocked all this stuff down in the spring. Yeah, that's it. Let's see what we got for a picture on the screen. Let's see, I think it's... a thousand five point three three feet. Yeah, turn it just a little bit. We'll oh, stop we it right there if we're yeah. done with the measurement. Yeah, that's it. I'll just dig this out of its holder. Mosher 2 Pro. That's what the back side looks like. That's the front side looks like. It's uh, got a USB-C port on it for easy charging. You get this stick with it. Well, the stick is optional, but I highly recommend it if you're going to be doing any kind of measuring well, anywhere. I I can't imagine using this without the stick. Yeah, it keeps it, keeps it consistent. It, it does. It does. And unless you stick it like on a flat car or something and move it along and then stop it, but... Uh, Flat cars tend to roll a little too much for the uh, for the Mosier. It's gonna error out more unless you actually have brakes. Well, and out here, we're, we're not gonna be rolling anything we're, in this stuff gonna, here. We're not gonna be rolling any flat cars out here without the track. No. <laughs> All right, my stupidity aside, let's take a look at the ruling grade on the SHFR. Starts out at 1.2% below the bridge at the switch, and then I think I, yeah, I errored out on the next one, so, well, well, we'll pick the next one after that. Looks like 5% going into the curve, go around the curve a little bit more, 7.6%, and it gets really steep at 8%, right about the middle of the curve, 6.4% on the top end, 4%, and it levels off even more. I think it goes down to 1.2% beyond that. I think. Oh, I aired out on that one. All right, we'll go the next one up. We'll zoom in a little bit. 0 0.3. No, wait a minute. 2.5%. There we go. Well, there we go. That's quite a grade. And that's not even the whole railroad. That's just the steepest part of the grade. Let's take a look at what the overall rise is. Our rise is 22 feet. Yep. And a thousand feet. So we go from the ballast tipple up to this point here is 22 feet. Rise. Difference in elevation. And so how long is the run? And the run is a thousand feet. Yeah. A thousand six point zero five feet to be precise. Right. But who's counting at this point? So 22 feet of rise. Okay. My math is not that good in my head. Yeah. But uh, somebody out there will figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It's variable. It's, it varies a lot. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the Stoddard Hill Farm Railway and measuring it. I also want to thank our sponsors, Mosier, for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like your own Mosier 2 Pro, follow the link below and enter my promo code right here on the screen. 
and that'll get you a discount on your next purchase of a Mosier 2 Pro or accessory. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.